I'm about to show you 11 online reputation management tactics using search engine optimization. Online reputation management, ORM, is a great way to make a lot of money using SEO. Why is that? Imagine if a politician or an influencer gets a whole bunch of negative press for something stupid that they did. And imagine that that negative press made it all the way to the top of Google. This person would pay just about whatever it takes to get it off of page one. And that's where ORM comes in. Let's break down ORM at a high level before I get into the nitty gritty on how to do it exactly. The first thing you want to do is cut the head off the snake and just try to get that negative review removed right away. If that fails, your goal is to blanket page one with so many pieces of content and so many entries that you actually start to push down that negative press. Now, speaking of press, if you press that like button, that'll make the YouTube gods happy, which will make me happy, and I'll be able to produce more videos like these. Now, to get a negative review removed, first you need to identify where these negative reviews are in the first place. Then you want to figure out if that negative reviewer just left one review or multiple reviews on various platforms. This will come in handy later. Then you contact those review sites. These review platforms are often very sympathetic under the following conditions. One, when that negative review was created by a fake account and that fake account was just set up for this negative review and the other ones that you found. Two, when it uses profanity like Three, when it's used as negative marketing and clearly used to promote someone else's, probably the reviewer's other product or service. And four, and this is a complete deal breaker, whenever it uses personal information. Now, if the review has none of that going on or if we're dealing with a particular piece of negative press that's published on a particular news website or something like that, now it's time to get out your SEO hat and start to push down this listing. Step one is to start optimizing the main entity of this client's website. Build out their about page by adding organizational and address schema. Use the same as schema to point to the business's social profiles like Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, etc. Next, optimize their Google My Business and make sure that all the information across all the platforms, social profiles, everything all aligns. This helps to tie all these properties together. And when someone Googles the client's business or their name, one of these properties is much more likely to show up on top. Next, get a bunch of positive Google My Business reviews. Google is always gonna show its own review stars against other competitor review sites. Now it's time to optimize and fully build out your social profiles like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, etc. And remember what I said before about getting the name, address, and phone number completely consistent with what you've written on the other locations. If you Google Diggity Marketing or Matt Diggity, you're gonna see all my social profiles coming up first. Next, you wanna try to grab a ton of page one real estate by grabbing the video carousel. Make a YouTube channel and make at least three videos optimized around the brand. What is brand name? What is the history of brand name? Etc. After that, look at what other web properties the client might have that could be optimized. For example, if I wanted to do some ORM for myself, I'd go to my other businesses, the search initiative or the authority builders, and I go to their about pages and write a whole big long section about myself there. Of course, they're gonna rank very easy for my own name. You can also utilize the authority of other large domains by doing parasite SEO and perhaps getting an author column on Medium or getting a large press release on one of these giant websites and then blanketing page one that way. Next, you're gonna wanna get some business citations on the biggest business directory as possible. Go for sites like Yelp and the Yellow Pages, which have a huge authority and can, can easily rock it up to page one. You can also fight fire with fire by getting some positive reviews on websites with more authority than the ones with the negative reviews. If you're trying to push down a negative review from a rinky-dink site, well then pull out a big mama like Trustpilot and get a positive review on there. If all of the above fails, it's time to get out the big guns. This stuff takes more work, but it works. Have your client do interviews and podcasts to not only capture the video carousel, but also the podcast carousel. Reddit AMAs can also go pretty viral and they can work as well. Just be careful because that can definitely back far if this client actually doesn't have a good rep. And then lastly, what do we normally do when we want web pages to move up in rankings? That's right, we build backlinks. Don't forget link building to push up those social profiles, those directory listings, and those parasite SEO entries that you already created. 